If you were to start here with this equation, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, which is the equation of a unit circle, the center at the origin, you solve for y. It's equal to the root of r squared minus x squared. It represents this curve you see right here. I'm only showing you part of it, half of it. You know this represents here a half of a semicircle, but if I were to look at four of these, it represents the full area of a circle. I can set up here an integral four of these areas from a lower limit zero upper limit r which is your radius this function square root of r square minus x square dx it will give you the area formula for a circle how will we do this you can do trigonometric substitution i won't get into the details of it but we'll run through it you can do a bunch of substitutions here x is equal to r sine theta these are your trigonometric substitution techniques dx is equal to r cosine theta d theta and you plug these in with new limits this is zero and r your new limits will be theta one and theta two everything with respect to this if x is equal to zero you're looking at a theta and you solve it you're getting a zero if x is equal to r you run that through r is equal to r sine theta theta is equal to inverse sine of one that will be a pi over two your new limits will be from four and then zero to pi over two with these substitutions what do you have you have r square minus r square sine square theta and then you have dx is equal to r cosine theta d theta if you run this through your basic trigonometric identities from this right here, you'll get here r cosine theta. Then you have this r cosine theta, cosine theta sitting outside, and you have that. You have a 4, 0, pi over 2. Simplify this. What do you have? You have r square cosine square theta. I bring that out. I have a 4 r square. I only brought the r square out. I have a cosine square theta d theta. If you look at this by means of a trigonometric identity, you know cosine square theta is equal to 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2, but I'm going to write this in this way. You can create two separate integrals around this with these limits. I'm not even bringing this in because by doing this down the integral procedure, it will zero out anyways. You're only going to focus here on the 1 over 2. You now have 4 r square times at 1 over 2. You have 0 to pi over 2 d theta. Run this through. You have a theta, upper limit pi over 2, and a 0. 4 r square times 1 over 2 is a 2 r square. Upper limit, lower limit, the difference of the two, you'll have 2r squared times pi over 2. Simplify this, what do you have? Pi r squared. And here's your area formula for a circle. Come over here, I entirely remove this part because this zeroes out anyway. This carries through to your integral completion to give you pi r squared and the areas derived.